Hello, Menno from IIAGware here. The very first thing you should do when you get your COS Pro Hyper EQ plugin is tune your speakers in order to create the perfect sweet spot for your tracking and mixing. You will need a measurement microphone, like this one. They range in price from $49 to thousands of dollars. This one is around $69. You will also need to make sure your speakers are situated correctly. They should create a perfect triangle with your mix position as the third corner. They should not be facing straight out into the room, but angled at a 30 degree angle facing directly at the mix position. Place your measurement microphone at your mix position and plug it into your mixer or sound card. Then turn on the phantom power to power the mic. Make sure to check your speaker manufacturer's handbook for the optimum listening plane of your speakers. Then place the microphone at that height. Now, in your DAW, load a pink noise generator onto a track and send pink noise through your studio speakers. If you have a sound pressure level meter, like this one, make sure it reads around 86 dB at your mix position. This is because the human ear hears flattest at around 86 dB. If you don't have an SPL meter, don't worry. Just set the volume of the pink noise to a comfortable mix level. Not too loud, but not too soft. Next, create a stereo track to record the pink noise profile of your speakers. Arm the track and record at least 30 seconds of pink noise. When you're finished, turn off your noise generator, loop playback of your noise profile track, and load COS Pro into the first insert slot. Select the pink noise preset in the effects category and in EQ edit mode, change the EQ to 50 bands. Once the spectrum has fully learned the noise profile, click conform spectrum to ceiling. You may need to fine tune the EQ to make sure the spectrum adheres to the pink noise ceiling as closely as possible. Now save the preset in your DAW using the same name of the speakers you're mixing on. Then every time you begin a mix, Insert COS Pro on your master fader and load the noise profile preset you created. This will ensure that the mix you're listening to in your studio is exactly what the world will hear when you share your finished songs. Happy mixing!